Hello guys, my name is Lord Tomo. Welcome again to another Sonic the Hedgehog toy at Adam Collective Review. As you know, I'm Lord Tomo with the Grover Blitz here, Sonic the Hedgehog. Kind of have a Halloween sort of theme shirt to it, so I don't know. Let's put him aside and get into the actual review. <laughs> this is a Sonic the Hedgehog money box by Pellington. Now, obviously, it's not the white box itself. I just want to show you this is the actual packaging that's meant to come inside it for those who are completionists to an extent. I don't think this is really worth anything. To be quite honestly, I don't think it is. I'm probably going to throw my one away because it's not needed. The only thing you have in this box is that pretty much. But other than that, let's uh, put that aside and get the actual item out. That is what we're going to review. So this is it. This is the Sonic the Hedgehog money box by Pellington None Other. Now for those who may or may not know, Ballad and for whatever reason have uh, received the license to pretty much cross, I wouldn't say cross sell, but cross kind of trade off merchandise well, essentially what it is, they got the license to manufacture items for Sonic the Hedgehog and they've made a copious amount of things. They made pens, pencils, they made a, a, a pen, oh, I said pen, obviously. <laughs> they made a stress ball, obviously. Uh, and other things that I can't think of from the top of my head. And this is one of the items. Now, this one was more or less interesting simply because there was a website that I was referred to initially called Forbidden Planet. I think it was called Forbidden Planet. Um, pretty, I'm just going to have a quick check. So yeah, Forbidden Planet, uh, for those who may or may not know, um, unfortunately they've come back to me and said, yeah, sorry, our supplies isn't going to, you know, sell them or like have them in supply. I was like, no. Then obviously you went to my trusty old eBay and I was lucky to find a UK seller who would sell one of these, which was awesome. So I purchased it from the UK. Now, I purchased other things there as well, but I purchased one of these things from the UK. Um, it's definitely a nice piece. It's it's not your standard piece, and I'll explain a little more why. Um, but yeah, let's let's get into it, shall we? Now, the, let's make some room here. This is the actual head of Sonic the Hedgehog. Very reminiscent of the retro Sonic the Hedgehog, which is awesome, which is a lot of uh, retro Sonic fans would... Uh, India? India? Is that even a word? They would definitely um, love you have his ears, you have his classic eyes, you have his classic smirk, uh, you have him crossed arms, classic pose, it is what it is, it's it's superb, and I do like how it, it kind of has this, um, what's the word, very speed-esque sort of mold on the head, by that I mean it's very curved out, including down to his spikes, which is of course normal for Sonic, but you can actually see from the top of the head, including the nose, so it kind of has this speed momentum face or mod coming onto it. I uh, know it's pretty mundane that I would even bring it up in terms of a critique or even a mention, but it's something that stood out for me in particular. I don't know if it's just mine, I doubt it's just mine, I think it's with all of them. He kind of has a, a forward lean to it, as you can probably tell, which I think it comes down to the whole snarkiness of the character, which I think is pretty pretty cute in his own right. You have of course his shoes, now none other, you have his little tower which is awesome and you have his obligatory spikes at the back and you can tell by the little line at the very bottom there that it's um, of course a mold placed on top of a mold. From what I could tell the paint apps are superb, I don't see any paint missing at all. Um, not that I could see, of course you can see the various lines that would indicate the mold dentions which is of course at the, on the bottom. But other than that, you know his n nose was basically placed inside as well. But other than that, it's superb. It's a it's a it's a nice little piece. Opposed to the other money backs, which I'm really neglecting to review, because I'm not a major fan of them. I got them early on when I first started collecting merchandise and all that sort of stuff. This one to me stands out most of more uh, amongst other ones, which uh, I think I might have done, which is pretty cute and pretty adorable. This one, I don't know, it, it works more as a standalone piece than it does a collectible. I mean. Yeah. Now this is a collector's edition, which we're gonna look at the base here. This place is hard plastic. Where the money is actually held is in this little canister here. This is just um, I will remove this just to show you, but the actual canister is over here, and that's where you put the money. Um, which obviously in Australia, that's two dollars, so that will fit. Do I have a big one? Yeah, yeah, that twenty cents will fit. I don't know if the pound. I'm, I'm guessing the pound works for different metrics and the cents are pretty small but I'm pretty sure 50 cents in Australian wouldn't necessarily fit in there. I, don't, I haven't got one so I can't test that out. The only, uh, I guess, I wouldn't say downside but the only thing that's a real nitpick for me is where it says Sonic the Hedgehog, it's got the retro theme of Green Hill Zone which is alright. Um, 
but it's actually just plastic I mean like paper of sorts and it's kind of like just glued on and I've never been a big fan of that for whatever reason it's not bad it doesn't take anything away from this actual money bank at all it's just me personally it just I don't know it's a bit off it's 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 always a nitpick that I've always had this is purely just for aesthetics purposes you can actually remove this which I will if you give me a moment because I want to show you you can hear the silence of the stickiness there we go and there we go now I'm going to talk about the base of course but at the very bottom you have these four adhesive sort of stickiness which is very very sticky as you probably heard from the actual base itself and of course this is where the money aspect is turn to the right my right your left I don't know open and turn to you my right your left to close so essentially you just turn it around and you just take it out so so yeah that's pretty much it the money goes in the money goes out as your standard obligatory sort of uh, what's the word money bank it is what it is and of course you have obligatory information at the very bottom which is say so Sega and it's of course Paddington and it has a little obligatory Paddington product and Brighton Road the UK so this was made in China but the company Paddington is in the UK so this is pretty awesome now I'm gonna put this aside now like I said this is purely for aesthetics there's absolutely nothing inside at all it's just the base I have absolutely no reason my understanding is I don't I don't know why they would have added this this alone would work my only guess is they're trying to reinforce the whole collectability of these sort of Paddington lines. By that I mean you have of course uh, the money box, you have save up your golden rings. I like that take to be honest. Call me old fashioned but when they incorporate stuff instead of saying save up your money, they say save up your, these rings which I'm old school like that. Um, yeah, save like Sonic unless you run in against the wall and smack your head which in that case you're not going <laughs> to um, so like Sonic, you have Sonic there, you have of course, and this is what I mean about this thing is probably going to be the do or die of collectors of sorts. By that I mean, on the side it says Sonic the Hedgehog Collector's Edition. That's all it is, it says Collector's Edition. My guess is, of course I could be wrong, and most chances are I probably am wrong, is as the years go by people are going to throw this away it makes sense right because you're never going to really use this because this is actually blocking the actual coinage from now and my guess of course is at the time if people want to sell stuff and all that fun stuff they're going to basically you know be one of those to have the full complete version of this you need the base and the sonic which i guess that makes sense being as someone that i collect a lot of merchandise it actually makes a lot of sense you know, small things and just a little fun thing they have a whole bunch of sonic heads at the bottom which is pretty awesome that is essentially it now I'm just gonna put this on so there we go yeah so that's essentially it um, how much did I buy it for? I think it was about thirty dollars yeah thirty dollars including shipping I got it from the UK from you know from store pretty impressive pretty awesome uh, rarity one side of ten it's just been released it's nothing too hard to find you'll definitely find anywhere Amazon eBay that's where that's where I've seen I just decided to stick to the good or eBay get the feedback behind it um, rarity one side of ten is it worth it look out of all the money banks that I've seen this is by far one of the most well-designed ones that are out there. I've seen other ones and I have other ones which I will review down the track which I'm not a big fan of but I have them just for the sake of reviews and collections and all this sort of stuff and this one to me personally is the better one out of the piece. So I highly recommend it if you're into that sort of you know statues and plus it's the whole collector's aspect to it. I know it's pretty cliche um, but I can really see this in the future where a completionist Sonic fan would want the full piece opposed to just that. I know because I was one of them or well, I still am to an extent um, but yeah it's definitely definitely worth it in my honest opinion um but yeah guys tell me if you have one tell me what you think of this do you like it do you hate it i i'm i've grown to enjoy this just for its simplistic you know desire like his towel is just putting to the left or right wherever you're looking at it it's very simplistic but you know it's 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 it does its job it's awesome you know guys thank you so much for checking out this review um yeah please stay tuned i will be reviewing on speed on take care and peace